Hey everyone, this is Jesse from the Plant Stock Channel, and I just wanted to drop in and give you a quick video regarding the almost 80% rise in the very good food company stock the last five days. It's been an amazing ride, and I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what is going on. Also, is it a buy now? Well, at the moment, we aren't getting a lot of news what's going on. Let's take a look at the stock chart. Uh, ticker symbol VE. R Y in the Canadian SEC, we could see an almost in five days, almost an 80% move here, which is amazing, almost 2x. And if we take a look at the OTC version, ticker symbol V R Y Y F is basically the same thing here, gone up like crazy in the last five days. And now, obviously, we can see that people are starting to take their profits from yesterday and the last five days has gone down. It's actually only gone down at the moment. It's been jumping around 4 to 9%, which is still impressive considering how much it actually went up. So again, what could the reasons be for this extreme rise in such a short amount of time? Last week, we found out that the company has gotten a new president. She will start in January. This is great news considering her vast experience with Daya Foods. Daya, as we've spoken about before, was one of the largest plant-based companies not long ago, with products at over 25,000 stores in North America alone. She worked as their CFO, which means that she had a central role in the company. Obviously, she will more than likely benefit very in multiple ways. She will be the most experienced in the management team, and considering their aggressive expansion plans into the U.S. next year, in the Patterson facility, they will need someone of her caliber. But is this the only explanation to why it has risen this much? Hard to tell. The company has gotten more and more attention as of late, even before this new ad to the management team. As many of you know by now, Jeremy from Financial Education probably does have a pretty high impact on the company, considering that he has a whole bunch of millionaires that follow his advice. If they all decided to once again to go in and invest more, it will have a profound impact since it is a small company still. It only has about 89 million shares and they are quite cheap considering at the moment. Jeremy did say that he wanted to keep adding more, but him alone, of course, wouldn't move it this much. Obviously, it could be that a lot of people are shorting the stock, getting profits and then reinvesting. But I must say, so far, the last month, people seem to hold on to their stocks. Take a look at the one month chart here. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. During the day, I did see that there were quite a lot of corporations that bought a lot of stocks before closing yesterday. As of yet, the institutional holdings have been very small in this company. But that could start to change considering the expansion plans. Too early to tell. Another factor could be Rona Rona getting worse again, the second wave hitting us. People might have learned from various history that they actually prospered a lot during the first wave. And that makes sense. If people would stop going out to eat, might not want to do their shopping in physical stores, they will start ordering online much more again. And that is one of the company's core businesses. Just a theory though. Next question, is it a buy at the moment? Well, it all depends. Are you here for the long run? Then yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. But the stock has already started to fall down again. Not a shocker. What goes up must come down. It might go down a lot. Time will tell. Nothing bad though. Just an opportunity to buy more. We now know that people are prepared to pay a lot more for this stock. And if you're afraid to wait, dollar cost average like always. I have actually contacted the company to see if they have any news to reveal, and if they do, I will keep you updated. And no matter what, I will keep monitoring the company and keep you in the loop. If you want to be part of that, please feel free to subscribe. And if you found some value today, hit that like button. And just a reminder, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a person, a historian, a teacher. To have some ideas, some thoughts, my opinions, and if you found some value in them, do with them as you please. Peace out.